Like any of our case reviews, this video about the Fractal Design Core 3500 starts with the package, if you know what I mean. The Corsair Flash Voyager Go is the easy way to move photos, music, and videos between your Android device and your PC. Click now to learn more. Of course I meant the box. Fractal uses a hard foam here that isn't my favorite, closed cell foam would be that, but considering the price point of the case and the expected weight of a completed system, it should keep your goods well protected in transit, if you know what I mean. Innuendo aside though, once we get the case out of the box, we're greeted by the traditional clean lined Fractal design aesthetic. The front features a brushed plastic finish, two five and a quarter inch drive bays, a small logo that seems to be designed to be easily replaced with something else. Are are we targeting system builders here, Fractal? And long filtered mesh strips that will feed the included front 140mm fan and the optional second mount underneath it with fresh air. The mesh looks good, but it's the first of a number of things I noticed about the case that just aren't up to the usual fractal design standard. Much like on my wife's older Arc MIDI, the dust filter system for those front intakes can't be easily removed for cleaning, and because the mesh is so fine, you can expect some wicked dust to visibly build up there. I'm also not a huge fan of the top of the case. As a cat owner, top IO is already not my favorite thing in the world, but having the power and reset buttons so close together and so easily accidentally pressed feels like a move from the 2010 case manufacturing playbook rather than the 2014 one. And the fan mounts up here, which support dual 140 or 120 millimeter fans and up to a dual 120 millimeter radiator, just didn't seem robust enough to handle the weight of our closed looped water cooling system. The way it flexes might have been fine on a $70 case where I'd be thankful to have rad mounts at all, but this one has an MSRP of $90. The outside isn't all bad though. The right side panel is solid and black, just the way I like them, while the left one has a large, slightly tinted window that I found quite tasteful. On the bottom, we find plastic feet and what is now a more traditional pull it out of the back when you need to clean it fan filter. Then on the back, we've got a noise isolated power supply mount, seven expansion slots, a second included 140 millimeter fan and a fan control switch whose location is gonna put the Core 3500 back on board the pain train. Let's open her up, shall we? This, this fan controller. I don't say this kind of thing often, so when I do, I hope manufacturers pay attention. Fractal, I love you guys, but what were you thinking? These are some examples of the 100 more sensible places you could have put this. It's got a green PCB that's visible from the window. The Molex connector sits either next to your power supply or it runs across your PCI slots. And the fan leads, aside from being impossible to cable manage nicely, have some of the worst sleeving I've ever seen on a Fractal product. It's this inflexible heat shrink stuff that doesn't even go to the end of the colored wires. The only good thing about the included fan controller is that we used an ASUS motherboard in this build which has onboard fan control and the wire harnesses come off. So we only have to look at the unsightly PCB instead of the entire thing. Actually, you can take the PCB out too. It just leaves a little hole in the case. So that's another good thing about it. And there's some other bad stuff in here too. The five and a quarter inch bays don't inspire much confidence and the clearance for both the top mounted and front mounted radiators could be better. With the top rad installed, it is impossible to access the top portion of our board. We could barely even get it in with the eight pin power connector pre-installed. And for the front mounted rad, you need to shift the hard drive cage inward for it to fit, which will interfere with a second high end graphics card. And this could be a problem if your whole reason for installing another the radiator in the front is that you want your SLI or crossfire setup to be adequately cooled. But like the outside, the inside isn't all bad. The solidity of the three and a half inch and two and a half inch drive cage is among the best I've ever seen, at least when it's screwed into the front of the chassis. The included rubber grommets, ample space behind the motherboard tray, and metal loops for zip ties make cable management pretty easy. Funny note here actually, Fractal includes exactly as many plastic zip ties in the box as the case has metal loops. I, I definitely lolled about that. But then I stopped laughing as I was working on cable management at the back and realized that the dual two and a half inch SSD mounts on the back of the motherboard tray are the older style screw in from the front 
oh wait, I already have a motherboard installed, I guess I'll use Velcro motherboard SSD mounts. These just plain aren't very good. The bottom one can't be accessed if you have a power supply installed, even though the case's manual tells you to put the power supply in first, and even if you did have the foresight to install your SSD first, the connectors are so flat to the back of the motherboard tray that you'd be putting quite a bit of strain on them if you tried to plug them in and they weren't completely flat ones. Many power connectors are like this. This was a disappointment, especially when Fractal Design has cases with much better implementations. The good news, I guess, is that there's a two and a half mount in the second optical drive bay that's unlikely to be used, so folks with only one SSD won't have to use up a three and a half millimeter mount and they won't have to use the back of the motherboard tray. So with all of that said, I guess it's conclusion time. I've spent a lot of this video on nitpicky stuff I don't like, like the motherboard standoffs not being pre-installed, rather than looking at the bigger picture, and I feel like I should take a step back for a moment. It's not like the Core 3500 is a terrible case. If you like the aesthetic, you could find much worse options out there at this price. But I guess these little issues were so hard for me to accept because Fractal isn't new to the case manufacturing game anymore. They should be experienced enough to realize that if your PCI thumb screws are installed with power tools at the factory, then putting a fan controller in the way of getting a screwdriver in there is going to mean that every builder will need to remove that fan controller to install their graphics card for the first time. And that's my problem here. I expected Fractal to blow me away with their design and innovation again, and that just wasn't the case. Speaking of cases, Hulu Plus has cracked the case, so to speak, on delivering top-notch content streaming services. You've probably tried classic Hulu on your computer, but Hulu Plus is much more. It works on pretty much any streaming device, like your Roku, Chromecast, or smartphone, which means you can watch at home or on the go with ease. They have current season episodes of shows like Modern Family and Parks and Recreation, as well as entire back libraries of some of my personal favorites, like South Park and Doctor Who. So whether you're trying to stay up to date with current shows or catch up on an entire series, Hulu Plus has you covered. Oh, and you'll also get access to originals that you can't get anywhere else, like the upcoming Hot Wives of Orlando, a parody of The Real Housewives, which will be available July 15th. Sounds pretty good. Florida Hot Wives. Did you know that Florida is actually one of the fattest states? I hope that's not the kinds of... Anyway, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure that it won't be those kinds of Hot Wives. Like, like they're too warm and they need to... Anyway, the point is it's only $7.99 a month, but right now they're offering you guys a chance to try Hulu Plus completely free for two weeks. When you sign up, be sure to use the link in the video description, huluplus.com slash Linus, so you get that extra week, because they always offer a free week, so you don't actually have to give me any credit for sending you over there, but I'd really appreciate it if you do, and the extra free week is like also great too. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment. Let me know, was I too hard on the Core 3500? Did I beat it up too much? Does it look like a great case to you? I mean, ow, I hit myself on the fan. I mean, the, the, the build quality is good. I mean, there's all, you know, the metal's folded over. Like, it's, it's not a bad case. So let me know. Do you, think I, do you think I judged it too harshly? And that's pretty much it. Guys, the link in the video description to support us is down there, so you can go ahead and you can give us a monthly contribution, you can buy a cool t-shirt like this one, or you can, I'm sure there's a third thing, right, change your Amazon bookmarks to something with our affiliate code so that we get a kickback whenever you buy, like, I don't know, the paper towel or whatever it happens to be. Thanks again for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.